Since the beginning of the invasion, the Ukrainian forces have been able to get hold of several important Russian weapons that have great intelligence value. Ukraine has now secured an intact example of an RTU-518 PSM self-protection jamming pod. This pod is associated with the latest version of the larger Kibini U electronic warfare suite used on the Su-30 SM flanker H. Russian Su-30 SMs were first seen with Kibini U in 2018, and it's one of the most technologically complex components in the fighter's ecosystem. In this video, Defense Updates reports why the capture of RTU-518 PSM self-protection jamming pod is a crucial seizure. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. It was reportedly discovered during the wreckage of a Russian Su-30SM with the serial number RF-81773 and bort number RED-62 that was shot down earlier in the conflict near the city of Izium in Ukraine's northeast Kharkiv region. It seems that Russian forces had made no serious attempt to locate what was left of the aircraft and remove or destroy it to prevent their capture before the area was recently liberated. The fast-paced counterattack seems to have caught them totally off guard. Russia will surely be regretting this oversight in the coming days. As installed on Russia's Su-30SMs, the R2-518 PSM is part of a larger suite referred to as Kibini U. The entire complex consists of the SAP 518SM, made up of one RTU 518PSM pod on the right wingtip and one RTU 518LSM1 on the left wingtip, as well as the internal chaos rep system as per a 2021 paper from Kaluga Scientific Research Institute for Radio Engineering. RTU 518PSM is understood to contain an active jamming system, while the companion RTU-518LSM-1 is believed to be a passive receiver that detects threatening electromagnetic spectrum emissions such as those from rival radars. They both work together and their primary role is the self-protection system against enemy air defenses. These can also confuse a hostile radar including seekers on incoming radar-guided missiles in various ways. This may include the ability to generate false emissions that can help mask the actual ones. There are also indications that the SAP 518SM subsystem is focused on protecting against mid-band threats, while the internal KS REP subsystem is optimized against high-band ones, giving the overall complex a broader range of capabilities. This is not the first time some components of the Kibini have been recovered in Ukraine. Actually, three known versions of Kibini have almost certainly been captured to date, with one from Su-35S that came down in the vicinity of Izium back in April. The most important aspect here is that the newly captured example of the RTU-518PSM pod appears to be in pretty good condition. Electronic warfare is some of the most technologically challenging and important aspects of modern-day military operations. Russia has a long history of dominating the electromagnetic spectrum. It's thought to be one of the leaders in this domain. Earlier, Krasua-4 mobile ground-based electronic warfare complex was captured and reports emerged that it will be shifted to the U.S. for examination. You can watch more about that in the video from the above card. It's not hard to see that the RTU 
518 PSM self-protection jamming pod will also be transferred. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.